Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for the week of August 10th through the 16th. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. I'm going to tag last week's, the first week of August to the end, because I feel like they're, they're really like prominent. They, they might not have been when you watched it, but I bet you if you watch it now, you're going to see. Anyhow, that's the way it's been for the other ones anyway. I don't remember what the Libra one was about, but anyway, I suggest that you watch that one as well, because for, for, for my signs, they all played out. But anyway, um, Libra, second week of August. What do we got? Oh, come on. I guess I got to take them, huh? Could be a fallout. Okay. No such thing as coincidence. Yeah, there could be a fallout. I, psychic ability. Trust your intuition, Libra. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. Cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. February, something's going to happen in February. Who else got this? Taurus. Taurus got this for February. Maybe you're going to be, I mean, the wind is blowing. Maybe you're moving somewhere in February. I don't know. Maybe you're the Taurus. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. Boat, you are probably dealing with a Taurus because these were Taurus' cards. Okay, these three. And this one was Gemini's. Um, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Opportunity or windfall. Something's going to happen in February. And a broken bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So there's going to be an unsuccessful outcome. I feel like this unsuccessful outcome is probably going to make you unhappy okay i feel like it's going to make you unhappy probably might even make you angry you may get upset i think that you've sensed it coming i think you know exactly what this is i think you have an idea of what's happening i feel as though you're going to get some sort of payout for however this is you're going to get there's going to be some sort of money that comes from this whatever happens there's some sort of payout um because there's money or property through inheritance, winning, or windfall. Opportunity or windfall in February. So the, the reward happens in February. But before February, you know, there's going to be some sort of, well, what's this? Lightning is a shock. What happens in the tower? You know, lightning. Okay. So just be prepared that I feel like this week there's going to be some sort of, um, could be a strike. Okay. Um, a shock there could be an event okay that really 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 makes you angry I think this is the most prominent card we have here okay I do so um, I don't have enough room for them all so I'm just gonna go like that so what do we what do we have for Libra you may get really really upset with whatever is happening I think there's gonna be a tower moment and I think that, what did I say? At the, the, see, this hasn't happened. It's messy. It is, things are falling out like crazy. So I do, that's what it was. I couldn't remember what I said. And so the cards fell out again. So there's going to be a fallout. And be careful with remembering what you say. Because it feels like that could, maybe somebody's going to get in trouble because they forget what they said. You know what I mean? But anyway, there's a fallout here. Definitely going to be a fallout this week. I couldn't remember what I said. And it could cause problems. Okay? Seven of Wands reversed. Now, this is defe defeated. Being defeated. This is overwhelmed. Stepping down. Admitting defeat. There could be a fall from power. There could be some sort of ruin. This is help. This is help arriving after the tower falls. So help will arrive. This is this is this is this is help. These fell out. So I gotta take them. Five of Wands reversed. There's gonna be a fight. These are both battles. They're both fights. 
but but there's some sort of guidance here with the star there's guidance there's some sort of protection here um, this is the end of the battle so there's some sort of uh, defeat there's defeat being defeated even getting it feels like if, if you know when I look at this card right now there's all kinds of people I don't know if it's with something drawn you know it could be reporters it could be uh, weapons I mean what is that it's like somebody has a lot of people pointing at them okay so and that's feeling you know like you're up against the world there's nothing you can do you're powerless you're gonna be it feels like you're powerless to whatever this situation is and that's going to happen at the beginning of the week. But the star card is a card of hope and healing and wish fulfillment and help. So there's help. There's help arriving. Um, this is a wish being granted. It's a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So the tower is going to fall. But there's a reason. There is a reason. The battle's going to end. The fight is going to end. You aren't going to have to fight anymore. Ten of Coins. Now, this could have to do with a uh, relationship in your family. Could be a family situation. There could be family money at stake here. You know, there could be an inheritance that is coming because we saw the money. Or there's this could be your windfall. Okay, so whatever this um, situation is, I feel like it leads to some sort of payout. Okay, maybe you surrender, you're feeling powerless, but this is your help that is arriving. There's some sort of uh, financial stability that is going to make you very comfortable, you know, that comes from this. So there's financial comfort that comes from whatever this uh, situation is. May have something to do with the father. And it's interesting because before I started this reading, I was sitting here and I have, didn't have the camera on. And I was just rubbing my head with my eyes closed like I am right now, looking down, but my eyes are closed and I'm rubbing my forehead. And I said, Libra's got a problem with her father. That's what I said. I said, there's issues with Libra's father. Now, if your father has passed away, it's it could be your mother. That is very masculine. Could It could be because mothers, if it, or if it was a mother, if you were raised by your mother and she was a single mother, she probably had to take on both responsibilities. Okay? So this could be a mother or a father. But in my head... I saw uh, father. I said, Libra's got a problem with their fathers this week. So if it's not your father, it could be your mother that had to take on that masculine role. So, But this emperor in reverse is, is uh, that's where the, I think the tower is going to fall for this person. I don't, and, and, and you're going to feel it. You may feel the quakes, you know, the aftershock, the aftershock of whatever is happening. You may be feeling, uh, really really um shaken by whatever has happened anyway um uh, this emperor in reverse deserts you they desert you or they deserted you in some sort of time of need you know um they're not interested in helping um they're only looking out for themselves they're not very experienced I had to put this one right here. Totally unprepared. So lack of foresight. Uh, we have a masculine energy that doesn't focus on the future. Is very stuck in the present. Is having a hard time. May not be in the future. Um. There's wasted time. Somebody has wasted some time. They've missed an opportunity. They have. They've missed the boat, or they've missed. They've missed an opportunity. I gotta go right here. Page of Wands reverse. Now this is bad news. This is bad news. Uh, it is. It's news that you don't want to hear. The page of the Page of Wands in reverse is bad news. It could be about a father, um, or a mother. Um, could be an Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Capricorn. Capricorn takes on the Emperor energy as well. Um, lack of foresight. Bad news. But this is actually a blessing in disguise. 
um, this person is losing their power. They've lost their power. They're going to lose their power over you. Um, this is negative. Somebody doesn't follow through. That is unreliable. Make, this is somebody that makes excuses. Doesn't put in effort. Uh, doesn't work well with others. Nobody wants to work with this person or they won't be working with anybody. There's a lack of teamwork. This person doesn't put in any effort to learn new skills or to change. Very, very um, defensive. You know, doesn't really want to uh, broaden their horizons in any way. Definitely defensive. We have somebody here that is very... Um, disagreeable by the looks of things they don't work well with others this is somebody in your life but this is some the star is divine guidance it is this guidance from above this is like a healer maybe or somebody that is passed away that is coming you know or is helping but this three of coins reversed is no teamwork, doesn't work well with others, uh, no la no more communication. So communication could stop with the three of pentacles reversed. Um, this person lacks energy. They don't they don't focus on things. They lack respect for others. This is you're dealing with somebody who is really disagreeable. You are. Um, they're hard to. Uh, work with put it that way and they're not very wise they may lack common sense I hate to say that but it's true and I think there's going to be an altercation I'm just going to get some more cards here with this person Hierophant so this is a highest authority this is God this is God or a higher power and there is guidance which I it was interesting there's a higher power involved here Plus, your gut knows what this is. We could be dealing with a priest or a mentor or mentor or a counselor or a teacher or God. Okay, this is somebody that is, is stepping in. I feel like this person is stepping in. I knew there's some sort of protection. I feel like there's some sort of protection here. For some of you, like I said, you're definitely dealing with a Taurus. Um, you are. This is Taurus. But the, oh, you all have Aquarius here as well. And then you have Aries and Capricorn. But this is a highest authority. Somebody in a position of authority. This is the highest authority in the deck. Even higher than the Emperor. Okay. Um, this is somebody that is divinely guided. For sure. There is somebody that is divinely guided. Ah. Strength, being divinely guided to master emotions. Now, strength is about letting go of fear. You're going to need to be brave this week. You're going to need to be really brave. You're going to need to find your strength to persevere through whatever this is. Whatever is happening is going to make you stronger. It is. Eight of Coins reversed and the King of Cups reversed. So this is definitely not putting in effort. We got the Three of Coins right here, right next to it in reverse. We have an individual here that is not doing what they said they were going to do. Okay, and you may be dealing with a Leo. I don't know, but you have the Three of Pentacles reversed, the Eight of Wands, or the Eight of Pentacles reversed with the strength, which is the courage and the confidence and the willpower. Now, this is somebody who is very controlling as well. Somebody may have control over you, but I feel like you're going to need to control yourself this week, and that's why we have control your anger. Control your anger. This is about self control. You may need to control yourself because I feel like. Uh, you're dealing with an individual that is very disagreeable. And they may pick a fight. 
They may pick a fight with you and they may gang up on you. They may even get people, you know, there's, it's a gang up of some sort. You know what I mean? There's, like I said, there's all kinds of, uh, I don't know if it's if things that coming at you, whether it's people or whatever, there's, whether, it, whatever it is, something is, it's more than one, put it that way. You may have things coming from every direction. Anyway, um, this, you're dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions. The King of Cups in reverse is somebody that is emotionally not available. There's, there's a need for you to be strong. Really, 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 really strong this week. I think a lot of you are dealing with a father type of figure. And it, like I said, it could be a mother that has maybe, you know, tried to control you. They've always wanted to be in control. But I think this person is losing their control over you. I think they've lost their control over you. I feel like you are being protected. I feel like you're being guided. I feel like I feel like this this game or this war or this battle is just about over. I feel like this person that you have been dealing with is uh, giving up. I feel like they're giving up or they're going to step down. They're going to admit their defeat in some way. Or they, this is like an attack. I'm not sure what this attack is. You know, maybe it's a, maybe it's a heart attack. Maybe it's uh, being attacked by other people. There's some, maybe, I don't know what it is. Whoever you're dealing with may be under attack. And I don't know if they have a heart attack or they are um, being ganged up on or whatever it is. Whatever it is, I think that you know what it is. I think that you you have an idea what it is, okay? And I say that because we got the high priestess, we got the hierophant, and then we had that eye wherever it is. Your intuition is spot on this week. You 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 know what's happening, okay? So right now, you have a gut feeling of what this is, right? Right now, you have a gut feeling of what this is. You are correct. Do not doubt yourself. Your intuition is a hundred percent spot on. I feel like there is some sort of direct connection to God. Okay, there's a direct connection to God. Whether you have a direct connection to God or God is around you. Well, we all have a direct connection to God, but not everybody knows that. But anyhow, um, you are definitely going to need to be strong this week. You are going to need to be strong. You may be feeling like... Uh, You don't want to communicate with anybody. You may feel like giving up. You may feel like uh, this is too much. Whoever you're dealing with um, is emotion. Their it's like their heart is shut down. Okay, they're they're emotionally cold. Okay, they they're very controlling. Whoever you're dealing with is controlling. They're not emotionally available. They don't have good intentions for you. It's all about power and control. And this person is losing their power and control over you. And they don't even... And, and this is like totally... Uh, this is lack of foresight. Uh, you may have not... It, it feels like deep down you know this is coming, but you've been ignoring it. You know what I mean? You've been ignoring it. And I feel like this has been coming for a long time. Whatever it is. There could be a change in the family legacy with that ten of coins. Hermit reversed. It's a midlife crisis of some sort. A need to to reflect you're probably gonna need to reflect you're probably gonna go right into hermit mode I feel like something is gonna happen which causes you to uh, want to uh, retreat from the world I feel like this is some sort of sadness okay I don't think you're gonna I think you're gonna be going into hermit mode. 
I think you're going to be going into hermit mode. And I think you're going to be going into hermit mode by the end of the week because of some sort of fight that ends uh, with an individual that didn't have good intentions with for you. This person wasn't very loving. They weren't. They didn't put in much effort. They didn't uh, try hard enough. Uh, what they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I think that is what's happening here. I think that you are going to need to be brave. And you are going to be need to be strong. This is going to be a week where you receive some sort of bad news. You are. That you probably were... Um, trying to ignore. It feels like you knew this was coming, but you were doubting yourself or something like that. You were like, oh, this is never going to happen. Well, it is going to happen. Okay, it is going to happen. I think that you know that it's going to happen, but you were like, oh, it's just that's just my little voice on the other side that's wrong. The voice of doubt. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I think that that voice that you've been hearing that's been saying, oh, it's coming. You better get ready. You know, you know this is going to happen. Well, that's the voice you should have been listening to because, yeah, it is going to happen. Okay. So, um, this is restrain yourself. You're going to have to restrain yourself. In the middle of the week, you may have to restrain yourself for, from uh, saying something, communicating with other people. And you may need to go into hermit mode because I feel like you're going to be angry. I do. I think there's some sort of, because of the anger, where we saw that. There's going to be an event, okay? There, there was just lightning, the tower moment. There's going to be a tower moment that makes you angry. And you are going to need to control your anger. You are. My best advice is for you to go into solitude until you can master your emotions, have a little talk with God, and try to re and try to uh, listen. Okay, try to listen because this is the answers. The star is answers. They will give you the answers. So take a time out. Take a time out this week, and when it, after the event happens, which it is going to happen, you're going to need to take a time out. You're going to need to take a time out to have a little talk with your higher power. And you may be asking why, why, why. And you will get the answers as to why. But do not act in um, a bad way. Okay? Do not act in a bad way because that's not going to help you at all. It's not going to. Um, Four of Wands and reversed on the bottom. So that is a separation of some sort. This is This is... Uh, clean up messy. This is very very messy. The party is over. The honeymoon is over. Okay It's cleanup time. Okay, whatever whatever was going on. It's over. Okay, it's you think about the four of wands It's a celebration you think about the fair You think about the fair and when it's all fun and games and it, it is all fun and games while it's happening Well, it's cleanup time. It's over The celebration is over Okay, it's time to clean up. So this is cleaning up a big, a big mess. Okay, so there is a there is a mess that is about to be cleaned up. Okay, um, but I think that I think there could be some tears with the King of Cups reversed and a need to go within. And I think that whatever is happening is going to give you a lot of strength. Okay, and you are going to need to master your emotions and remain in control. Everything happens for a reason. This may have to do, I think it has to do with a father in particular. And if it is a mother that raised you alone, you know, she took on that role. Um, good luck. <laughs>